Okay, greetings everyone. This is Gerard. Um, I figure I'll do a part three on the tribute to the Queen of Soul because I just left too much stuff hanging, you know, because you know, I'm having I was having a little difficulty with the phone uh, phone shutting off and and what have you. And um, but um, uh, just to just to bonify this as a tribute uh, to the Queen of Soul. Uh, uh, Miss Aretha Franklin just passed. Uh, let me play another one of her songs that I, I, I dearly, dearly enjoy listening to. I'm sure you, I'm sure you know it. I think one of the reasons why I really enjoy this, being a photographer, I love the the. the images of Aretha Franklin uh, uh, during this video. I don't know if it's the official video, but it's one of the videos that's a lot of black and white shots, which I'm a black and white princess. I really enjoy uh, a good black and white print. Uh, there's no such thing as a perfect print, you know, uh, but uh, uh, I have become one of the uh, best custom black and white printers there ever was. <laughs> I can say that honestly because I had Harrell, uh, if you know uh, photographer Harrell, who was one of the big famous photographers in Hollywood, uh, uh, who, who specialized in the in black and white uh, pictures uh, of movie stars and, and 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 performers and what have you. When his stuff would come in, he would only want me to print it because the black and white it's different in color. Color separates itself, but black and white you have a whole range of 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 shades that you want to bring out in a black and white print you know and you got to have an eye to to see it to make sure all the details come out evenly contrastingly and, uh, and i was always good for finding that that the picture inside of a picture you know uh you know yes you can take a picture but that's not what the photographer really wants he wants to see this part of the picture see the eye is very the, the eye and the brain is very very uh, it's like a computer, you know. You know, I tell people, I, I, I tell them, computers are stupid, They're absolutely stupid. You know, if, if you know what you know, what makes them smart is if you ask the right question. You know, so uh, if if you can't find the information that you want for a computer, it's simply because you're not asking the right way of saying it. You know, so it gives you the right answer that you want. Otherwise, that they're very stupid. You know, so so I've learned that about computers. Well, it's the same thing like the brain. You know, whenever you want looking at a picture, uh, your eye tends to, sure, it looks at the, the main subject or what it is that what you want to photograph, but then if there's a lot of space above the, above the head or a lot of space on the side or below, then the eye wanders from your main subject to what's on top here and what's on the side here and what's down below here. So by cropping that, you, the eye in the brain scans the picture, it hits the top, and it comes back keeping your main focus and your main attention on the primary subject that you want to uh, have seen or to bring out in your photograph and I've always been able to, to do that and and also you know when you're photographing things your, your subject is there your, your subject is here my subject is here okay I know I'm photographing you Mwah! you look beautiful <laughs> of course it's a girl <laughs> you look absolutely marvelous just simply simply marvelous now you stay there I look through here and make sure there's nothing sticking out your head. There's no garbage on the ground. You know, you know, there's, you know, there's no backlight coming and hitting the lens. I look at a lot of other stuff that's going on in the in the frame that you may not be aware of, and that's why it's taking me a little longer to focus. I want to make sure I get all the distraction out that won't take away from my photograph. So anyway, with that being said, I've always been able to do that. So one of the reasons why I enjoy this picture, this video here, is because of stills. Miss Franklin. I mean, she's, you know, she, she she's photographed here very glamorously, you know, and it's funny because um, there's no such thing as an ugly woman. A lazy woman, yes, but not an ugly woman. And that's why when, yeah, I say this time and time again, when, when <coughs> people come to me and say, Gerard, can you do my portfolio? I say, no, I can't do your portfolio. They said, well, what do you mean? This guy, I said, he's lying. I said, your portfolio shows your work over a period of time, how different photographers see you. 
You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You know, every every photographer is going to see you differently. So you want to have that brought out in everybody who photographs you. If one photographer claims that he could do a portfolio, don't believe him. What you should be uh, inquiring about is as how much would uh, a shooting be with you or, or uh, a session with you. And, and you take a couple of shots from him, put, you put into a portfolio, a couple of shots from where else, and somewhere else. And a portfolio is something that accumulates over a period of time. So uh, it, it's become very easy to say, uh, you know, do can you do a portfolio? And that's the marketplace. But you know, that's how, that's what a portfolio is. Is how you have seen through through the eyes of different photographers or different assignments over a period of time. Let's get back to Rita Franklin because there's some other things I want to talk to you about. And you can hear it's thundering, but the TV's off. Chrissy, the TV's off. <laughs> funny uh, I'm here in the Philippines and you know um, it, it shouldn't come as no surprise that a lot of them haven't heard a lot of the artists like the Godfather soul mr. James Brown or even Prince you know I was blown away when I was, I was talking to somebody I forgot what it was um, I said um, uh, something about Prince I said Do you know princess they said no I said you never heard of Prince <laughs> <laughs> and it's just mind blowing that how you know, no, no, there's people, you know, no, they they know his music. They may sing his songs through uh, some other artists, you know, singing the song, but they don't know Prince. 
Um, now, getting back to the memorial of Michael Jackson, um, I had a, I still have a, um, a very, very dear friend of mine, Sherry Ellen, and I, I plan to see her when I go to the state. Which reminds me, I, I had to um, uh, renew my passport, and I removed, I renewed, I renewed it this month, and it takes four to six weeks for it, for me to get it back. So it's really cutting close to wire for me to make it uh, to the states on my planned dates. I will have my itinerary in hand, but um, but this is uh, this is the state of how it is uh, that um, it's going to be close, not close. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to say something about and when 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 I was young, it, it was very common to hear. You know, someone say, you know, well, look, say a little prayer for me. Let's say a little prayer. You know, or something like this, or something happened. Let's say a little prayer. And so this song, say a little prayer. And I wonder why this song appeals to me because maybe it stimulates something from my younger days when I used to hear someone say, say a little prayer. But anyway, this girlfriend of mine, her name is Sherry Allen, very, very dear friend of mine. It's very dear, very, very. I can't express to you how much this girl means to me. You know, and. She taught me a lot about being a man. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, she um, uh, was a, um, she had a, a niece when Michael Jackson had passed away, and they were watching the special of Michael Jackson, and the little girl <laughs> turned to her and said, "Auntie, I didn't know Michael Jackson was black." <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and it just goes to show you, you know, how, you know, how, you know, how, you know, how, how, how thing evolved, I guess is the best way to say it. But the most astounding to me was when I was telling you about that, when I was in the inner office with uh, Reverend Dr. Al Sharpton, Johnny Cochran, uh, Russell Simmons, uh, Dougie Fresh, and Michael Jackson. And I took that shot on Michael Jackson. You've seen it plenty of times. So, like any other young entrepreneur, I took a lot of my Michael Jackson's memorabilia and, and selling it, on, you know, around the streets. That, because that's a big hustle there. Whenever someone dies, I mean, the T-shirts and everything. You know, it's, you know, you gotta make it. You gotta make it when you can make it. It's unfortunate, but you know, it's, it, it's, you know, I, I wish someone gathered a lot of stuff that I'd done and tried to sell it on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, the likelihood of that happening is, uh, uh, how do you call it, a near to none? <laughs> Something like this. But anyway, um, a lot of people didn't want to buy my photographs of Michael Jackson uh, because they said that's when he was white. And I was surprised, you know, I sold a couple, but I was surprised how the reaction I got from a lot of blacks, you know, that did not like Michael Jackson when he was light-skinned, light-colored, or white, you know, um, they more preferred him looking as, you know, a black American. So that, that really kind of caught me, you know, um, uh, kind of caught me off, um, uh, off, off my thing. But uh, it, it caught me by surprise. And hold on, something. There was something. But while while I'm looking for that, let me um, find a song for you that I, I want you to hear. And this is this is why a lot of um uh, a lot of our music is so important and 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 still so wonderful uh, as it is today. Uh, this one artist here, they don't they just don't make songs like these this anymore. And, and I, I want you to hear it because I, I've heard it's, it's on my playlist and when I hear it I, I usually often play it two times two or three times but it's, it's just uh, you know we just don't have artists like like that anymore um, let me see but while I'm looking for this um, let me play. I'll tell you what. I, I, no, I can't do both of them at the same time. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, I know what. Um, uh, I want to talk to, talk to you about 
some of our human traits. <laughs> That's always an, an interesting thing I find is is that, uh, and the question I pose is that, you know, uh, what was the question? Oh yeah, um, what is the thrill of taking from, from someone who will give you anything? Uh, uh, I find that to be an interesting um, paradox, an interesting, uh, let, uh, okay, um, um, let me, shoot. Let, me find, let me do it like this, because uh, Eric can find it easier like this, because, um, um, Okay, here it is. Listen to this. This is one of the great, great balladeers. Giving up, <laughs> you know, trying to keep from um, mentioning artists' name or, or or playing too much of their songs for fear of getting blocked, or whatever. But you know, case it off, it off. If I get blocked, you know, it's all right. But I'm just gonna go on and just let the let the good times roll. Okay. Uh, um, oh, I was gonna, I was gonna talk about being a player player, <laughs> but then I I think maybe game should be sold, not told. Because I, about women, you know, and uh, so I, I think I'll create another channel for that 
to let y'all know, because no one's teaching you young whippersnappers, you know, you know the uh, 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 the um, the finessing, and it is finessing. The handling of a woman. Oh, the God's beautiful creatures, and you got to handle them gently. Let me stop giving myself flashes. Okay, let me find you another artist who I want you to listen to while I'm in this face. And I was thinking, do you know something? You know, I'm planning on making this my last issue because, you know, um, you know, I'm, um, I want to do my book and my screenplay. And um, this, this has been, you know, uh, it's been a wonderful experience. It's been a wonderful ride for me to, to keep, you know, my legacy alive. I don't know about yours, but my legacy alive through music. You know, um, I don't think there's no other magazine out there who, you know, has the Temptations or the Four Tops on the cover, or you know, who are writing about Timothy Wilson, or you know, <laughs> writing about the Mary Jane Girls. You know, or giving them a much uh, 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 um, time in, inside of a publication. A lot of them just waiting for something tragic to happen, so this way they can, you know, pull out all the wonderful things that they would have said about them while they were alive, you know. So, you know, I, I'm really grateful for that. So, I don't know where, you know, where I would go, you know, to kind of keep up with. Yeah, you can go to the website, I guess, if you want to, but uh, I, I'm very proud to have been uh, a vessel in, in, in that in, in that beacon of, of writing about, you know, a lot of the great artists who come and gone and 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 uh and who are still here amongst us you know and um you know i i um i, I told sherelle and the girls telling you about the, the girl she says what are you going to the uh, philippine philippines for and she promised me that she'll come visit me uh i said i'm gonna go i want to sit on the beach we're playing bongos and tell Hollywood stories. So my moving to Dumaguete, I saw the beach, so I got to find me a pair of bongos, and I'm gonna sit on that beach, and I'm gonna play my bongos, and tell Hollywood stories to anyone who will listen, or to you. If you don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell, okay? Um, let me, um. Oh, I know what I, I wanted to uh, touch briefly about living amongst Asians. You know, it's, it's been, it's, you know, I, I know I have, uh, in the United States, the only time we really hear anything about Asians is when they're, you know, they're taking over a store, you know, or in our neighborhood or, or fast food and, and how they treat, you know, the, you know, the, you know, uh, the locals. You know, and what have you, and 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 how, especially in uh, in the black communities, how they are looked down upon by Asians. You know, and for um, you know nail salons and some of the stories. I I'm very proud of myself over the fact that I don't know how many of you have kept your New Year's resolution, but I've kept mine. I've kept my New Year's revolution resolution to not send out any type of negative uh, uh, perpetuation. Of the depravity that goes on in uh, in this world, uh, you know, um, or, or some of the hatred, you know, or, you know, I'm just not going to be a part of spreading uh, spreading that. So if you haven't seen me do that, then know that this has been the, the reason why. And believe you me, I, I still watch it, I still see it, but you know, you, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to swallow it. You know, uh, you know, I'm not going to be a part of the vehicle that perpetuates. You know, um, everything was wrong. You know, in uh, in in uh, in the world, in my country, in this country. You know, uh, you know, I'm not. So, um, uh, so I'm glad I've been able to hold true to my New Year's resolution of not doing that. I hope those of you who made New Year's resolution have been able to hold on to yours too as well. Now, uh, you know, I'm living in Tanco Five. I live with Chinese. I live with Japanese. I live with Koreans. I live with Chinese, you know, uh, you know, um, and oh my God, do they love Helen? <laughs> you know, they lay on the floor and Helen and play all over, and um, and it's. I never in my wildest dreams imagined how wonderful P 
people from other cultures, you know, treat each other. You know, treat everyone. And it's absolutely been a wonderful experience for me, you know, to live here, uh, to live amongst, you know, Asians, you know, and Filipinos, of course. Filipinos go without saying, you know, how wonderful they are. But then I say that to say this, that it's so important, you know, and by right, you know, you know believe you me, you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm the least person, least person to ever be thought of that would be living in, in another country after all the stuff I've done and been through. But once I got out of prison in 1999 and I made a decision to turn my life around, uh, this March coming up would be 20 years since I had a pair of handcuffs on me because I made a decision to turn my life around. It's easy to do the right thing. It's easy. It takes a whole lot in, in, you know, in, in, you know, inside you to go against you know, your upbringing, against what's right and wrong and what's left and right, you know, to do the wrong thing. And you know, I don't have that turmoil anymore. You know, I gave it up a long time ago. You know, so it, it's just easy to do the right thing. And believe you me, you know, those, those of you who, who never thought about, you know, visiting another country, least of all, you know, getting out of your own neighborhood. You see, it's 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 very simple. You know, it's it's very simple. When we are born, our world all evolved around a crib. Right? A crib. Okay. So we play in the crib and we spin around and, and we look at things and eh, nah, nah, play with things and now we get mobile. We begin to walk. Now the crib is too confining. We want to walk around, pull ourselves up, knock over shit. <laughs> you know, and experience a, a, a little bit more of the world around us. Now, we get a little older, and now we get our tricycles. Not only, now we're not just walking around we're pedaling around we're pedaling up and down the street and we get to see a little bit more of the world right? and if you're fortunate enough you get old enough and now you have a car and now you drive and you get to see more of your world you see how big it is you see you see a neighborhood the school you go to work and and, and things of this nature but the world doesn't end there. The world doesn't end just in your neighborhood. It doesn't end in your state. It doesn't end in your country. Your neighborhood is the world, man. And you should have an opportunity to see it. You should have an opportunity to truly see how wonderful how wonderful the world can be. How wonderful its doors open up for you. If you want to run around and put notches on, you know, on, you know, on your, on your, uh, on, on your phallus, <laughs> you know, then knock yourself out, you know, you know, you know. But you know, it's just beautiful. Cultures living inside cultures, and I, you know, I've I've always enjoyed living inside cultures, and now I have a chance to live amongst other cultures. And living amongst Asians is has really been an eye opening for me. Yeah. But anyway, let me find this other song to you before I start um, mm, boo hooing. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, let, I'm uh, sure you've heard th this song here. Okay. Um, uh, this artist here, he died way too soon. 
but check them out while I I'm finding pictures here to put on 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 my page of people holding my magazine and then close it I want to close it today so I'm doing that right now and so uh, but you listen to this artist here okay Your love is lifting me higher. Let me tell you, uh, uh, this one girl got it. You know, she's a lady guard, another lady guard. Oh, no, 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 she's adorable. And uh, she gave me her group. Her group is about, she's it's a mathematician, you know, type of group all about mathematics. And I looked on that thing and said, holy shit. <laughs> I knew I was way over my head, but I said, thank you for the peak, but I, thank you, but no thank you, you know, but anyway, uh, uh, she had looked at my Facebook, and I saw her again, and she said, you know what you need, I said, what, she said, you need a wife, I said, wow, my God, I said, how perceptive of you. Because she said, if you had someone, you wouldn't be doing half the crazy things you do. <laughs> I said, you're right. You know, when I was with Diamond, I cheated on Diamond. Whenever I had one girl, it's one girl. That's all. With Tatiana, one girl. You know, that's all. That's all. It's one girl. You know, I'm, st I'm still, you know, promote or whatever it was I do or whatever. I may pick them up or whatever like this or whatever. But it's nothing intended. It's just, it's just for pictures or whatever. You know, I'm a publicity, so I do stuff for publicity. So, uh, but she said, well, well, I said, you know, you might. But anyway, I, I wrote this thing down. So what kind of girl I like, you know. I, 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 so I wrote down here, uh, I like a girl who make you want to brush your teeth three times a day. 